Hey, what is up? Kate here with Skywolf Game Studios, and I'm back for another helpful video. So, we're going to hop into Blender. We have this really cool cube right here. We did some fancy modeling and everything. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> and we end up with this cool-looking cubey C-130. But, by the way, is a... Uh, for my upcoming Battle Fort game that I've been developing. But anyways, um, so there it is. We select it, we go to File, Export, FX, we chuck it onto our desktop, and leave it as that, and we put it right there, and then we click Export and save it out. And then, we jump over into Unreal Engine, go to Library, boot up UE5 or UE4, whichever you prefer, and you create your new, brand new first person game idea, right? Sounds good and everything. Then you jump into your project and you go to your content drawer, you create a um, meshes folder to start building your game. Mesh, mesh, close enough. Then all of a sudden you open up your folder and you take the um, C130 or whatever you made, uh, the stack mesh, and you chuck that in there. And you go to import and you're ready to go, right? Ah, crap. What the hell is going on here? We got a bunch of errors. Rage face. Um, so what is happening here? No smoothing group was found in this BX scene. Please make sure to enable the smoothing groups option in the FBX exporter plugin before exporting the file. Uh, even for tools that don't support smoothing groups, the FBX will, exporter will try to generate. The, so basically what it's talking about is the way the faces are on here. Um, between the vert and you got four points usually, or three, depending on, um, it's easier if I show you in Blender. So let's hop back over to Blender. So right now, it's in flat. If you right click, you can shade to smooth. You can even go over here to the object data under normals and turn on auto smooth. And you can see that smooths it out based on the angle. And you can play with that. Um, in my case, I don't want that. So what I am going to do is shade mine flat. Um, make sure you go Control A, apply rotation scale. Uh, the other important thing here is to make sure that you have a UV map. Um, so in this case, select all. Um, I'm using Zen UV. So I'm just going to unwrap and actually hold on. Before we do that, select the plane. Uh, you can, I'm just gonna apply these very quick just for a demonstration. And then now we go to select all because otherwise it'll mess up the thing. And then in and then UV and then unwrap. There we go, we got some cool looking uh, UVs. So we're good there, that's very important. And then switch back to layout. And then now, if you go select your um, object, I'll just select the plane for right now. And you just go to file, export, FBX. This time, if you have more than one object, um, it will export everything that's in there. So in this case, if I leave selected unticked, it will export both the body and the door. If I just do selected, it will just export the body. Uh, select mesh. If you have a skeleton, make sure you click on armature. In this case, I don't. Scroll down here, transform me that as default. And this is the important right here under geometry. It's under normals. So you want to switch this to edge or face. Uh, it will try to smooth the edges or the face, uh, depending on what you prefer. They both work fine. 
Um, if you have any modifiers on there, you can leave that. In this case, I already did it, so you don't have to worry about that. I usually always just leave that in anyway. Uh, armature, that's if you have a rig. Um, leave, try null, otherwise switch that to root. Uh, null usually works fine. And make sure you untick check, um, leaf bones. I don't have any, so it doesn't matter for me. I don't have any animation, so that doesn't matter. And then you'll export, and then I'll save. And then now, if you go back over to the Unreal project, and first, let's go ahead and delete everything that's in there. Delete, uh, hold on one sec, because we got that open. There's nothing in there. Open back up the content drawer. Sometimes you have to force delete it. That's because I had it open though. And now we got rid of everything. And now, if we go back over here and drag in the other one that we made with the corrected set import settings for the smoothing groups and then import. Now you can see there's absolutely no errors. Problem solved, voila. Hope this helps. Um, feel free to uh, join my Discord or leave a comment, ask questions if there's something I can do for you and hit that subscribe button. Oh, and by the way, here is the plane working in Unreal Engine. Uh, it doesn't have any color yet, I have to do that. But uh, you guys have a wonderful afternoon. Toodles.